Most Essential Learning Competency Illustrates well-defined sets and representations of sets. Hi! I'm Sir Jan. Ano ang mga namimiss nyo kapag pasokan? Kami bang mga teachers nyo? Your classmates and friends? Or new school supplies? Kay Clark, namimiss niya daw ang kanyang cute little bag. Dahil dito niya nilalagay ang kanyang mga paboritong gamit sa school. Oops! Oh no! Medyo clumsy si Clark. Now, let us help him organize his things. First, let us observe the objects and their characteristics. Next, let us group his things into three groups. Ano kaya ang pwede nating ipangalan sa first group? Do they have the same characteristics? Yes, these are school supplies. What about the second group? Do they have the same characteristics? Yes, these are snacks. And the third group, do they have the same characteristics? Yes, these are personal hygiene kits. Thank you for helping Clark organize his things. Sa pagtulong natin kay Clark, nalaman natin na pwede natin i-group ang mga bagay base sa kanilang common characteristics. And these groups, can also be called sets. And set is a well-defined group of distinct objects called elements that share a common characteristic. For example number one, do they have a common characteristic? Yes, these are set of odd numbers between 0 and 10. For example number two, do they have a common characteristic? Yes, these are the set of all the letters in the English alphabet. For example number 3, do they have a common characteristic? Yes, these are the set of days in a week. What about example number 4? Do they have a common characteristic? Yes, these are set of different sports. Set of odd numbers between 0 and 10 is an example of a well-defined set. Therefore, we can list down all the elements of this set. On listing the elements, use braces to enclose the elements, commas to separate the elements, uppercase letters to name the set, and lowercase letters to refer to any elements of a set.
The first method in representation subsets is called the roster notation or the listing method. Sa method na to, ililista lang natin lahat ng elements na tinutukoy. Tulad na lang ng ginawa natin sa previous example na set of add numbers between 0 and 10. Example number 2. Set of all whole numbers. Sa example na to, alam natin na imposibleng uh, masulat natin lahat ng elements dahil uh, napakarami o walang katapusan ang whole numbers. If a set contains infinitely many elements, we will use the three dots called the ellipses. Another method of representation of set is called the set builder notation. It is a method that lists the rules that determine whether an object is an element of the set rather than the actual elements. Example, set of all whole numbers. Aside from using listing method or ellipses, pwede natin siyang isulat ng ganito. And it is read as A is the set of elements X such that X is a whole number. Thank you for watching. If you want to increase your mathematical thinking and understanding, subscribe and hit the bell button para updated ka sa mga bagong videos. And don't forget to like and share. And always remember, the essence of mathematics is not to make simple things complicated, but to make complicated things simple.